Hey everyone, Queso Man Rules here from Queso Man Rules Tutorials. In the past, I've showed you guys how to install several CMSs or content management systems onto your website, such as WordPress and PHPBB. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install a new CMS called Mod X that was recently released from beta July 31st, 2009. It's a more advanced CMS than what I've shown in the past. It does have a lot of settings, so you can really get down in it. It's very similar to Joomla. It's not necessarily a blogging type or a forum type like WordPress and PHPBB. It's more for an informational type of site, what you would normally think of as a website. So we're, uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to download it, how to install it, and then a couple of things you can do with it. So if you want to download it, the first thing you need to do is go to modxcms.com. Link will be in the description, and go down to download. You're going to be downloading the ModX Evolution 1.0.0, which is the latest version that was released from beta. 2.0.0 is in uh, beta still, and will be released soon, but we're going to do the one that is not in beta. Here it's going to ask you if you want to register. If you don't want to register, go ahead and click that. I did register, but I haven't seen a need for it yet. You'll get to this page, and shortly it will pop up asking you if you would like to download it. So go ahead and download it wherever you want to save it. I've already done it, it's in my downloads folder, and when you do save it, you will get a zip file like this. Go ahead and right click and click extract all if you want to use a built in Windows tool if, if you don't already have a third party software such as WinRAR or 7zip. So after you've extracted it, you'll get a folder like this, and within will be several files. And that's what makes up the install process for Mod X. So what you need to do is open up now your FTP client, I use FileZilla, connect to your website. And then find the place where you want to install ModX. I made a subdomain especially for this called modxtut.casemanrules.com. And go to the root of the directory, and what you need to do is drag all these files. You can do Control A or just select them all and drag them over here and let them transfer. There's about 1,600 files, so it will take a little while, but not too bad if your internet's fairly fast. I've already done it for the purposes of the tutorial, just to make it move quicker, so here we go right here. As you can see, they're all uploaded. So now if we go to modxtut.caselmanrules.com, you need to go to the site where you uploaded it to. You'll go and it'll ask you if you would like to install now, so go ahead and click that. Now you just go need to go and click next, or if you're not using English, choose your language, but I'm assuming that you are. Click new installation, it'll be on that by default. Click next. Now is where you need to connect it to your database. This is an important part. So what you need to do is log in the cPanel for your web host. Mine is uh, on Bytehost, and what you need is your information for your databases. Then put in the password, and I'm going to test the connection. Alright, it's been passed, it's been able to connect to the databases. So I'm going to call the database, uh, we'll call this modxtut, just like the subdomain. Make sure you set this as set names, and you can leave that the same. Now click create or test selection of your database. Now, as you can see, it did fail to create a database, and that is because it's not configured correctly with my web host, which will happen in most cases. So what you need to do is go into your web host and go to where your MySQL databases are stored, and create yourself a new database. I've created one called Sandbox2, so just copy that and paste it under the database name. Try that now, and you should get a successful result. So now you go down here, and you need to just choose your administrator information. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in all of this real quick. And English, I'm assuming you want for that as well, and click Next. You'll get here, you have several uh, options. I would go ahead and click All, and also check that. Scroll all the way down, and click Install. Now, in most cases, these things should work. If they do not, your permissions are not set up correctly, and you need to go in and change them so that they are writable from the server. So if everything works, you need to click I agree and click install. Now we'll install everything. Again, everything should work successfully, and as it says for me, installation was successful. Now make sure this is checked where it says remove the install folder and files from my website. All right, and you are set. You've just installed ModX onto your website. 
So now what you need to do is go ahead and log in using your information that you set earlier as your administrator. And now you're logging into the back end of ModX right here, the control panel. Now one of ModX's features is that it's completely based off Ajax, which is a synchronous JavaScript and XML. Pretty much what it means is that it has the ability to load lots of things at once and then make it so it doesn't have to reload the entire page if it wants to make any quick changes. So the first time you log in here, you're going to get this page asking you to set up basic information about your website before you're allowed to do anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and call this mod xtut. And you can go down and find all these things, you know, just change it around as you see fit. And make sure that it's what you want, all that. Go through it slowly. I'm not going to because this tutorial needs to be fairly quick. Uh, friendly URLs takes a long time to set up, but is worth it. But if you don't set it up, you just click yes, none of your links will function correctly. So I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, you have several user options and such like that, like when people log or sign up for your website, they have you can specify the email that's sent to them. As I said earlier, lots and lots of choices. So once you've gone through and selected everything the way you want it, most things will function by default, but may not necessarily be the exact way that you want. So after you've set up those initial settings, you will now get to a page that gives you more options. This is the complete backend. So as you can see, you have all of your pages that are available on your website right here. The ones that are in gray are ones that are not linked to from the home page and are just linked to as a result of other things happening, such as if they were to request an account, that's what they would get. They got a 404 on your website, search results. These are all the ones that are available in the nav bar at the top of your website. If you want to see what the website looks like by default, just click preview right here and in a new tab it'll open up the site. It will be using the default theme for ModX, as you can see right here, and it just has some basic information. It has install successful, and lets you browse around the site a little bit if you want. You can go to the different features and just check out what it looks like. As you can see, there is a built-in blog functionality, which, uh, as I've seen so far, works pretty well. Um, it may not be, as you can see, it's not meant to be exclusively a blog, but maybe have you know, just updates or something like that about your service or whatever you want to use your site for. So if you go around, you can just mess around with the little settings. Uh, if you go to tools and configuration, if you ever want to change anything that you set at the very start, this is the exact same thing. This is where the site and the URLs, all that is. So tools configuration allows you to make those original settings again. Um, as you can see, like I said with the Ajax, all these things, uh, all these tabs are preloaded and they only reload the page once you go to a different section. So all you need to do really is mess around. Um, I have only messed with this a little bit. From what I see with all the customizations, it does have the ability to be a very successful uh, CMS. It is continuing to be updated as it just came out recently from beta, so I would definitely check it out and wait for it to progress. Yeah, one of the things that makes it very, very appealing is that it has a lot of settings, like I said, makes it a lot like the bulletin or something that has a lot of settings that that's its main focus. If you want to check out what I'm doing at just about any time of the day with ModX, you can go to sandbox.casemanwolves.com. I may eventually abandon it or delete it if I don't see that I need it anymore, but for right now, if you want to see some extra functionality, you can head over there. If you would like more, you can always go to casemanwolves.com, or if you have any questions, you can PM me here on YouTube or you can ask our community at forum.casemanwolves.com. Thanks for watching this tutorial, guys, on the ModX CMS, and I'll see you guys next time.